Okay, we've got our bed level and our filament loaded. Now uh, it's time to uh, start the print. So I have my SD card in here that has my files on it, uh, my files on it that I want to print, and I got this from the uh, from the computer. Um, and we'll we'll go over that in a separate video on uh, finding or making 3D files, and then doing what we call slicing them to prepare them for the 3D printer. Um, but I. I put the file, I already got the 3D file and I sliced it and it's on here. Now I'm going to come over uh, to my control box and I can see uh, that I've already got it preheated so it's 200, uh, 200 degrees for the nozzle and 60 degrees for the bed. Uh, so that's good to go. But you'll notice X and Y and Z are all flashing like that. That's because uh, the machine knows that it's been moved. It's out of, it's out of home because I've been moving it around. I've been moving it around to level it. So what we'll do is we'll come to the menu and we'll click. We'll go down to prepare and we'll go to auto home. And again, auto home is going to move all the motors such that it knows that it's down at the zero, zero, zero point. And that's right here on the lower left corner. We also, we call the zero, zero, zero point the origin. So. The machines now move to the origin, and if we go back to the info screen, we can see X, Y, and Z are all at zero, and then they're not blinking anymore. Um, and now it says Ender 3 ready. So, if we want to print something, we're going to go down to Print from TF. And I actually don't know what TF stands for. If somebody knows, let me know. Uh, let, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll go to Refresh, and that'll show me what's on here. And I'm just going to go to print uh, to print Banshee again. I'm not going to print the whole thing, but uh, I want to show the starting process. So uh, like that. Now, because it's already heated, it's starting the print process already. Um, if it were not already heated, it would take you know a minute or two to heat up. The first thing it does is it just does a, a line back and forth. A little bead back and forth sort of basically that's just to clear the nozzle uh, now it's going to do the first few layers uh, the first layer here in the middle and this first thing that it's doing is called a, uh, a skirt uh, this was something that I set in my slicer pattern and it's basically again it's just a couple of lines around the part uh, to sort of clear out the nozzle and make sure that we get good adhesion. All right, and now you can see it's starting to, let's see if I can focus, there it is. Uh, it's starting to lay down the first layers of, uh, of filament, of material. Okay, and this looks like, a, like an okay uh, adhesion, an okay print, like we got it reasonably level. It uh, looks like the nozzle might be just a little bit high, if it were a little bit lower. Uh, those layer heights, the layer height might be a little bit lower, but um, and it might stick a little bit better. But I've had pretty good luck with this so far, so I, I think we're going to let that be. What the key thing with this video is that we want you to watch the first few layers to print, okay? Uh, because if your print is going to fail, it most likely fails in the first few layers. Um, in fact, this one may be in the process of failing. I can't quite tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to watch a few layers. Um, I'll put it on time lapse for you. I'm going to watch a few layers and we'll see uh, we'll see how we do. Okay, so the first few layers are done. Uh, the machine is still working. What I'm going to do is come over to the control panel and we'll click and we'll go down to pause print. All right. Oh, that's interesting. It usually moves the... Oh, did it... Ah. So I accidentally must have hit stop print uh, because it says that it was the print was aborted, uh, which is a real drag. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens when you abort a print. Uh, you can see that the, uh, the nozzle and the bed temperature are starting to go down. The X, Y, and Z are blinking because it doesn't know exactly where it is because it's been aborted. And it gives us this print aborted message. So 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the prepare menu. I'm going to disable the steppers. All right, and that should let me uh, move the print out of the way. Okay, so I just grabbed the bed and moved it off. Now these first few layers do actually look pretty good. There is pretty good adhesion. Although, actually, nope, this back corner, that was so, that was a little, that sort of popped off like that um, so easily. That might have happened in the middle of the print. And so, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, tighten up the four corners that we leveled in the bed leveling process, make it a little more level. And um, I'm going to scrape off this material. So, we'll just uh, grab our yeah, you know, and just grab our putty knife and scrape that off. All right, and over here you can see it's it barely even connected at all. So that's um, I think we do want to tighten that up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is put you on time lapse. I'll tighten it all up a little bit. We'll start the print again, and we'll try to get to the same point that we were at a second ago. So what I did there is uh, I went into the control panel and I uh, changed the z-axis to zero so that it was zeroed out. The x and the y I don't need to zero out, just the z because I'm doing the bed leveling. Um, and now I've uh, set it to preheat for PLA so that it can all be hot again while we do the leveling. Okay, so what I did there was uh, I re-leveled all four corners, and then I went to the center, and I found you know that again it's it was uh, a little too uh, low, or the, rather the plate was a little too high, so it was pinching in the middle, and then it, so I backed off the four corners all a little bit uh, to raise up that middle again, and uh, but I got it a little bit tighter than the last time, and we'll see uh, we'll see if this print goes. Uh, now this all is a, has been a really good example of why we want to watch the first few print, the first few layers of every print we do, because uh, that is the, the most likely place for it to fail in the in the print. This uh, these layers are a little more snug to the bed, and I like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on time lapse again, and uh, I'll pause the print. Uh, when we get to a good place and we'll check and see how the adhesion is. Okay, so I paused the print and you can see it says print paused. Uh, sort of annoyingly they turn the nozzle and bed heat off so those will start to cool down and we'll have to wait for them to heat up when we start it again. But we're going to take a look at our print, and those first few layers look pretty good. They look pretty well adhered, and uh, I can give it the little tap test. Don't, don't hit it too hard because you don't want to pull it up, but you can just sort of check and see does it have, is it loose, and it's not loose. So that's, to me, that's a good first few layers. So we'll go back over, we'll go back over here, we'll go to resume print. And if we go back to the info screen, now it's set back to 260 and uh, 200 degrees for the nozzle, 60 degrees for the bed, and the nozzle is starting to heat up, and so is the bed. So we'll wait for that to we'll wait for that to heat up, and uh, we can do a, a little bit more time lapse to watch it continue to print. But this is generally uh, this is a this is a good start, and if you have got a good first few layers to your print. Uh, generally speaking, you're going to be you're going to be good to go from there. So, uh, so watch your first few layers, see if they stick. If they if they look good, uh, you can leave it. And uh, in this case, you could actually uh, leave this unattended for the rest of the print. I'd I'd feel okay with that. No guarantees that it's going to be a successful print, 
but, uh, but the likelihood of failure is much lower if you have a good, uh, successful uh, first few layers and they've adhered well to the bed. So we'll see, it should, should start printing in just a second. And we're up to temperature. <coughs> Picking, picking right up where it left off. Good to go. Man. 